I'm back. I am back. It's been a long time, but I am back, okay, to make a delicious meal for you today. I'm making for you slow cooker chicken and dumplings. And here is the recipe, all the ingredients that you will be needing. Of course, you're going to need some chicken breast, of course. And you're going to need some biscuits, eight big biscuits these are the grains okay and you're gonna use cream of chicken soup and cream of celery soup and I'm gonna put in some garlic powder bay leaves and also body of complete saison complete mix I don't know why they gotta put all that on there I don't know why okay and I'm also gonna add a can of sweet peas and carrots drained and I'm gonna use a half an onion and yes I know that I already have cream of celery but I'm gonna also use you know a stalk just to give it that extra celery taste just in case that ain't good enough okay chicken breast remember chicken breast well you can use whatever meat you want you know if you want to use uh, chicken thighs boneless that's good boneless chicken legs if you want to use wings, that's up to you, okay? But either way, it's going to be good. I'm going to be chopping up my veggies and cutting my meat with this knife, y'all. This knife is amazing. It was sent to me. It's called Nakato. I guess I'm saying that right. Mito Nakato Knife. And most chefs use this knife, y'all. But I'm going to use it today. Look at that blade right there. Look at that blade. Oh, oh, I'm pretty sure. You got to be careful because you'll cut yourself. But I'm going to tell you, though, this is made out of high-quality, natural olive oil wood. And the blade is crafted by master artisans from high-carbon stainless steel. Look at that stainless steel. You could tell. It's a good knife, y'all. It's a good knife. So, most of this used by many chefs and TV cooking stars. Globally, worldwide. Look at this knife, okay? If you want to get this knife, if you're thinking about getting this knife, it'll be down in the description box, okay? All right, y'all. I'm getting ready to wash my meat and cut off some of that fat. You know, some people like the fat. Not me. I don't like it. I get rid of it. I don't like the fat. You can eat it if you want to. I don't like anything wiggly in my mouth. And when I tell you anything, I mean nothing. Okay? I don't like nothing that's wiggling in my mouth. All right? And a lot of people say, oh, girl, you don't have to wash the meat. Why are you washing that meat? You're taking away some of the nutrients from the meat. Well, let me tell you something, some of you dirty people. Let me, t let me tell you something, okay? I wash my meat all the time because you don't know what's on that meat, okay? I don't like slimy meat, all right? I'm going to wash it. I don't care what you say, so you can keep that opinion to yourself. Keep it to yourself, okay? Because I'm not listening to that. I always wash my meat. I always wash my meat, and I think you should too. But it's up to you if you don't want to wash your meat, okay? That's all I'm going to say about that. That's all I'm going to say. Now I'm getting ready to season my meat. I'm going to use some garlic powder, all right? McCormick, that's who I like. You can choose whoever you want, but I'm going to tell you, it's not all created equally. Garlic powder, okay? Just sprinkle it on there. I can't tell you how much you put on there because I don't know how much garlic powder you like. Okay, complete body, complete seasoning 
This stuff is so good, go on everything. Seasoning, I mean, say, um, meat, vegetables, whatever you want to put it on. Sprinkle it on there. Sprinkle, sprinkle it on, sprinkle it on. And I'm going to use some uh, coarse ground black pepper. Sprinkle it on there. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle it on. I know y'all say, girl, you crazy. I'm going to put a little salt on there. Oh, yeah, yeah, just a little bit. Just a little bit, okay? Sprinkle it. You can leave it out if you don't like it, okay? I don't want to hear that down in the comments saying, girl, you shouldn't be putting all that salt on your food, girl. You know it's bad for you. Well, a lot of things are bad for you, but y'all eat it anyway, so I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear it, all right? Unless you just eat grass and hay and lettuce and veggies, then hey, okay? That's up to you what you want to eat. All right? Ooh, Lord, that smells delicious. Okay, once I have all the seasoning on there, I like to kind of stab it. Just stab it a little bit. Make sure that seasoning get down in there. You want it to get in there really good, really good, okay? Just stab it. It'll be all right because when this cooks in the crock pot, okay, y'all, I'm kind of shredded a little bit, you know? People like chunks of chicken, okay? Everybody ain't going to get a piece of, of a whole breast, all right? I'm just letting you know. Well, it's up to you the way you want to cook. Okay, y'all, I'm cutting up my onions. Onions, this is a half of a large onion, okay? Or you can use a medium onion, okay? Only you know how much onions you like. Only you know that. Y'all know I'm saying that wrong on purpose, right? Don't be saying, girl, it's not onions, it's onions. I already know that, okay? I just like to play with y'all a little bit. Can I play with y'all just a little bit? You gotta always be serious. You know, some of y'all be putting some crazy stuff down in the comment section. You really do. But you know what? I kind of ignore it. And if you get too bad, I'm just gonna delete you completely. Delete, delete, delete. It's easy. Just one button. Delete, delete, delete. Remember I showed y'all how to get those strings off of that? I gotta be careful. This is a sharp knife right here, boy. Just do it like that to get the strings off. Don't nobody want stringy food. Get the strings off, okay? Get them off. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Get the strings off. Ooh, this knife is sharp. Let me tell y'all something. Okay, you gotta be careful with a sharp knife. And not only that, y'all, it's sharp. You're not supposed to cut a knife on glass or plastic, especially this knife right here. You notice chefs always use wood bamboo or something you know but you don't want to use glass or plastic you don't want to dull your knife so quickly and mess it up don't do that especially if you pay a lot for a knife you need a good knife y'all okay cheap knives are okay but you know what they say you get what you pay for you really do let me stop or i cut myself mm, look at that knife Oh, it's beautiful. I want to kiss it. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to add my cream of chicken. This is Campbell's Soup. I mean, you can use any brand that you want to. I know Campbell's Soup is good. I don't know about that other stuff now. I don't know about the generic. It's up to you. Get out of the way, cat. I got a cat, Sushi. She wants to get near my tripod. I don't understand. Okay, it's cream of chicken. And this is cream of celery. You're gonna mix the two together. Now, like I said, I found this recipe online, but I'm kind of doctoring it up because, you know, certain things I like in my food, okay? Just certain things I think would make it taste better. I'm pretty sure y'all do that too. So y'all free to do whatever, okay? Do whatever you like to this. Now, their recipe called for water, but I'm using chicken broth. I forgot to tell you guys that in the beginning. So you're gonna use two cups of chicken broth and they got another one any kind will do as long as it's good okay swanson is good but i didn't have swanson's today so i'm using what i got okay mix it up in there real good mm -hmm. mm. i'm sorry yeah you see the lumps but don't worry those lumps will go away they will go away put in your onions and celery put it on in there all of it don't let nobody escape nobody and since i love garlic i'm gonna add some garlic to this 
Well, it's coming out of there. It's coming out. You ain't got to add a whole lot. Just enough to taste. It's up to you how much you want. Or you can leave it out if you don't want it in there. Just leave it out. Leave it on out. All right. I'm going to put some pepper. I like pepper. Some people don't like pepper, but I do. Just a little bit. Okay. Just a little bit. Okay. I stirred it up. I'm still going to put a little bit of this body in here. The herbs. I'm going to put a little salt because I taste it. Make sure you taste it, y'all. I just put a little sprinkle in there. Okay. Like I said, you can leave it out. I don't want to hear no crying. No crying in the comments. Said you leave it on out. Leave it out. All right. Here we go. Taste it. Mmm. Good to me. All right. Let's get the rest ready. Now I'm going to add my sweet peas and carrots. Okay. I got Kroger brand, but any brand will do. All right. It'll do. Pour it on in there. I mean, you can leave this out if you don't want it in there. You just leave it on out. You ain't got to put it in there. But, you know, I love peas and carrots. So you can put in here what you want to put in here, okay? If you want to put broccoli in here, good. If you want to put green beans, good. It's up to you. And later on, y'all, when I put it in the crock pot, I'm going to put a bay leaf in it. Maybe two. Two bay leaves. Bay leaves make everything taste good. Everything. Okay, I'm going to use two tablespoons of butter. But I have Kerrygold garlic and herb butter. Now, this butter is not cheap now. It costs a lot. It's up to your budget. You can get regular butter, whatever you want. But I'm just going to go along this bottom of this and just smear it all around. Roll trial around. Just roll them around. This thing keep on moving. Okay. But you get the idea. You're just going to roll it around. Put it, Grease it, basically. Grease it. Grease it like you do a cake pan. Just all over. Okay. But you know what, though? No, this is getting pretty difficult. Pretty difficult because it ain't soft enough. But it's okay. It's going to be all right. Or you can use Pam. It's up to you. But the butter just going to make it taste even better. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, y'all. I'm just saying. <laughs> now I'm going to place my seasoned chicken breast in here. It don't matter how you lay it down. Look at this big boy right here. I mean, you can always slice these up if you want to, okay? You ain't got to leave it this big. Man, I'm just being lazy, all right? Put it on in there. Squeeze them in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Then you're just going to pour. Don't let me make a mess in front of the camera. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, that's a lot, y'all. That's a lot. Make sure you have a big enough crock pot, okay? Big enough. All right, it's good enough. It's not over flooded. Thank goodness. You can tell that's gonna be good. You can tell. Then I'm gonna throw my bay leaves in here. Mm hmm. Get on down in there. Get in there. Look at that mess I made. Look at that mess. I don't. I do not like a dirty crock pot. I don't like it. Pot, bowl, nothing. Guess I'm kind of anal a little bit. Now you're just going to put your lid on, right? I love this crock pot, y'all. It's by Hamilton Beach. Look at that. Seals it in very nice. Okay, now you're going to cook it for about, oh, four and a half to five hours on high. That's what it said, on high. I didn't make it up. That's what the recipe said, but we're going to check. We're going to check back. We're not gonna put the biscuits in yet, so don't worry, not yet. Let's check it out to see what's going on. Ooh, it's bubbling, y'all. I think that's ready, look at that. Oh, yeah. Let's go to the next step. Ooh, we looks great. Mm. Now I'm gonna pour my chicken out, one by one. I'm gonna shred it or pull it apart, look at that. Oh yeah, that baby's ready. That's all you gotta do, just shred it. You can shred it thick or you can shred it thin. It's up to you. And then you're just gonna put it back in the pot. Oh yeah. Oh, 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 I gotta eat it just like this, y'all. I'm hungry. Mm. 
I'm gonna pull those bay leaves out, y'all. It's not gonna stay in there, all right? You see how it looks? If you want it a little bit more thicker, you can add a little flour or cornstarch, but I haven't put the biscuits in yet, so the biscuit may make it a little bit thicker, if that's the way you like yours, and that'll be okay. Now I'm gonna put the chicken back in there. You don't want a whole lot of chicken if that's too much. I had three breasts. You can use two breasts. Just might be enough for you. I don't think I'm going to use all this. I may save some of this to make me a sandwich. Ooh, wee! See how it looks? Ooh, wee! That's going to be good, y'all. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm. All right, we're getting ready to add the biscuits. I am using Pillsbury Grand's Southern Home Style, but I'm pretty sure you can use any brand or any type, but I wouldn't use the flake. I wouldn't use that. All right, let me pull this off right here. I used to have a hard time getting biscuits out the can, but I gotta remember, you have to use, look at this hand. Weak as heck. I'm weak as heck. Let me see. See if that'll work. Yep, that worked. Oh, that has butter in it. That's probably even better. <laughs> All right. Okay, I got eight big biscuits in here. I guess that's butter. I don't know. I hope it ain't cheese. Hopefully, I didn't grab the wrong one. Look at that. I don't know. But it still should be okay. All right. I don't want to put them in there real big, so I'm just going to use this. You can put butter on that. I don't like mine very, very thick, but if you like yours thick, you can just cut it thick, okay? Just going to roll it a little bit. Just 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 a little bit. <laughs> you that woman, you crazy. Then I'm going to cut it. Mm-hmm. Cut it. I want to turn this cutting board, but you know what? Hey, I'm just gonna deal with this. All right, then you cut it the size you want. You ain't gotta do it the way I do it, but as long as you get it in there, then you just put it in there, put it on in there. Hell oh, yes, so I can tell this is gonna be good. It's gonna be real good. Now it's according to how doughy you like your chicken and dumplings. Everybody don't like them you know, doughy or thick. They just want a little bit. So it's up to you the way you want to do it. don't matter because I'm telling you, this right here is what counts, okay? That's what counts. Okay, y'all, it's all in there. Look at that. Ooh, it's gonna be good. I don't think you're gonna have to add no flour. This is my first time cooking this. Now I'm going to leave it to cook a little longer until the biscuits are done. You're going to have to taste it to see that the biscuit is done. Okay. Then I'm going to also take the bay leaves out. I'm going to go ahead and take one of them out right now because I see it. Okay. And there's the other one. Okay. Cover it up. Come back. Oh. Oh no, the cat, no, no you didn't. Oh no, you didn't push my thing. No, you didn't. Man, I swear, I'm about to get rid of this cat. She's going to a farm in about two weeks. Yay for her, yay. It looks so good, y'all, look at that, look. Oh, don't eat it now, cause it's doughy. Put the top on it, and be patient and wait. It is really, really good, y'all. I mean, y'all can leave some things out, you know. If you don't want to put salt in it, don't put salt in it. If you don't want pepper, if you don't want to put the body of complete seasoning, you ain't got to do it. It's still going to taste good. You need to be concerned about making sure that the chicken is done and that the biscuits are done, okay? Man, this is so good. This is going to come your all-time favorite, you know. This is good winter food. Really and truly, it's good anytime, anytime. Okay, now I'm gonna post the ingredients down in the description box, all right? And make sure you check out the Mito Nuk 
No, I can't even say the word. No, not go, no, not go knife. Okay. Mito Nanako Knife. I'm pretty sure I'm saying that wrong, but go down in that description box and you'll see it, okay? And if you like it, you can order it, all right? With all that said, I'll see you next time, all right, for another great recipe. Goodbye now. Let me plate up. Woo! Mm -hmm.